In the first part of our story, two-year-old Victoria was diagnosed with Langerhans cell histiocytosis, an incredibly rare sickness doctors only recently classified as a cancer. Victoria's mother and father, Andrea and Cruz, call it LCH for short. Doctors at East Tennessee Children's Hospital dove deeper into research and trial and error to find a treatment that would save the young girl's life. Oh, God, there she go. Yeah. They found a solution they honestly didn't expect. And it came because doctors worked as a team with specialists in Texas and around the world when it mattered most. I, I remember asking Dr. Spiller at that point, is it time for us to go to Houston? And she said, if you need to, we can go, but I'm willing to work with the team. As you've seen, we've been working with the team and we carry out anything they recommend here. And not only that, she said, um, I'm gonna reach out to all the specialists because everyone's gonna have a different recommendation. And we're gonna come up with the best plan that's for Victoria. Both parents knew that customized care just down the road here in East Tennessee gave them confidence. And when she said that, we, my husband and I talked it over like, which is that we're staying here because they're going to give us the best option that's for Victoria, not what one specialist says or another specialist says. Rocky. Good. And knowing what they were going to do, they moved forward. But as the plan came together, it was surprising. It led them to a place they had already been, albeit with a big difference. So when Dr. Spiller said, you know, I've talked to Houston again, I've talked to other folks, this is what we been recommended to go back to Clefairy We were like, are you kidding? Like that almost took her down. Like you want us to go back to Clefairy but she proposed going with a lower dose. Remember Clefairy had caused Victoria to have terrible reactions only months before. Understandably, Cruz and Andrea wanted to know why they were gonna retrace their steps and Dr. Spiller was there to answer. She listened to our concerns. She didn't say, push us into making a decision immediately and like my husband and I talked and we were like we need to we, we explained to her we want to know what precautions you're going to put in place to protect her if she has these reactions what can we do to intervene for if, if this and this happens and they were able to explain all that put that in place and then we move forward with chemo. After four rounds of chemo the PET scan revealed the lesions that were once too numerous to count like three spots left on her bones and we were was, just yeah. like thank you Lord. it was an emotional news for us i think he <clears throat> went out and just hugged dr spiller like thank you thank you finally some progress in a big way this breakthrough led to the team determining victoria had lch in her digestive tract an even more rare diagnosis of lch now, her gastrointestinal doctor, Dr. Bo Cox, is working with oncologists and everyone else to continue her treatment. To the credit of our doctors, this is also one of the few times I've ever seen, you don't even see it in literature, where it's caught so early. Everybody else, where all these specialists are, have caught it so late. But because we've caught it so early, we're in this gray waters where we don't know, there's not a protocol for it. But East Tennessee Children's Hospital stays at the cutting edge of Victoria's treatment. Dr. Cox called an oncologist, a GI oncologist in Toronto, and talked to him. And like I remember telling you, we're in gray waters. We're just not sure what. There's no protocol. Well, everything he told me that a lot of the things that they would recommend that our doctors are already doing, and they're not. Yeah, this is the first case. So that that's pretty. That made me really proud of our hospital that we're already on track. Absolutely. And as you can see, through it all, Victoria has never, ever lost her zest for life. Her family will continue to fight with help from her doctors. This holiday, when you support Children's Hospital, you're helping kids like Victoria get the comprehensive, customized care she needed to fight an illness doctors rarely see. You can help us continue to be there for families battling for their kids. If you'd like to donate, head to etch.com slash SOG.